Hall effect apparatus consists of electromagnetic coil, power supply for electromagnet, constant current power supply, gauze meter. So, gauze meter is a digital gauze meter which has a two different ranges 2k and 20k with a probe and provided with stand, wooden stand. Okay. So, initially we need to set the gauze meter as a set 0 by this knob we need to set it to the zero option so that there is no error with this knob i am setting it to zero after it i am choosing 2k gauss okay i am right now choosing 2k gauss only because i am not uh, ex exceeding 2k gauss and this is constant current power supply in this hall probe is connected this is a hall crystal provided with four screws equally pressured the, the thickness of the crystal is 7.5 uh, 0.75 mm and this is given with four different probes provided four different probes two for current output and two for in um, voltage so right now i'm connecting it So positive to positive, 4mm connecting and even this one as well, positive to positive, negative to negative, okay. Then initially we need only Gauss probe because we will set the field in all effect with the help of power supply for electromagnet. So right now I am inserting the hall probe in between the poles which is a distance of about 10 mm and also I am connecting the power supplies so here I am giving with the help of this knob I am supplying current to the magnetic field and now I am applying 1 ampere so this is my 1 ampere current so 1 ampere current is applied to electromagnet and prospectively I am writing the gauss that is 0 0.475 479 gauss kilo gauss or else you can even note down as 475 479 gauss if you are using the decibel then you need to write in because it's in kilo gauss so 0 0.479 kilo gauss so initially you can note down these values right and uh, make a tabular form for 0.25 in from step by step like uh, or either you can go with 1 2 3 4 gauss or else you can even go in steps of 0.25 ampere right now i am taking directly 2 ampere for 2 ampere 0 0.886 886 kilo gauss similarly for 3 ampere so we have to uh, like maintain very slow variation for 3 ampere it is 1.5 248 kilo gauss so i have to make a tabular form in this format so here i have done it for 1 ampere 2 ampere 3 ampere 4 ampere in this format you have to make down and make a note of it so like that you can go until a 6 amperes but our gauss we have we will it will exceed 2 kilo gauss see for, for 4 amperes it is giving 1.680 kilo gauss for 5 ampere 1.858 kilo gauss for a distance of about 10 mm I mean minimizing out and making another experiment Hall effect current versus
so I'm inserting this one it up I don't need this all gauze probe I'm only inserting all probe now so all crystal is inserted in the electromagnetic field so you have to make sure it is not touching the poles you already got the gauze probe for uh, um, gauze for magnetic field gauze for one ampere so from the first table of form you have to note down that gauze now I am varying the current Hall current and note down the Hall voltage so this will go around 3 milliampere because our power supply is 3 milliampere power supply so I will go in a step of 0.25 So for 0.25 that is 3.8 millivolts for 0 0.5 0 0.55 it's 8.5 for 0.75 have to make it very fine rotation so you can note on 0 0.80 to 12.8 for 1 ampere for 1 milliampere 15.7 millivolt like that you have to I'm skipping the steps for like 1.5 to make a video faster so this is 1.5 milliampere 24.5 millivolt so this is 2 milliampere 31.5 2.5 milliampere 39.7 millivolt 3 milliampere 47.5 millivolt so we have to make the steps like in this format second table of form 0.5 um, current and millivolts I have to note down these things and this is our formula Hall coefficient R we are finding the Hall coefficient from the above table of forms so Hall coefficient is nothing but Z into slope by H is 